What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York, and today we're talking about what are in-ear monitors. You ever see those things that musicians wear on stage that their plugs in their ear look like they're wearing headphones or like these really fancy looking headphones? That's what we're talking about today. But first, I want to welcome you to my series called Chatting with Jacob, which is a series that we're on my channel where I, I go through questions that you guys ask or things that I want to talk about that I've seen that you know might, might, I want to share my opinion on. Uh, that being said, you can text me any ideas that you'd want me to add, like chat about on 1833575948. If you're in the US, you could use WhatsApp or a regular text message. If you're outside of the US, you can just use WhatsApp, same exact number. If you want to join my live streams, it means a ton to me. It's 11 a.m. New York time, Monday through Friday. And yeah, if you want to check out my music, it's Jacob Restituto, wherever you listen. So, in-ear monitors, I have a pair right here. These are called Sure in-ear monitors. It's just a brand. There's a thousand brands out there. Sure is a pretty popular one. Um, a very popular one is like the people are very often, especially with like bigger artists, they get custom in-ear monitors. These are not custom, but custom in-ear monitors, they actually take a mold of your ear and, and they actually put like a wax in there, mold it out and make custom perfectly fit to your ear monitors. What is an in-ear monitor? It's essentially like a glorified uh, uh, headphone. That's really what it is. It's a really, it's a high tech headphone that no, normally noise canceling. So just like a noise canceling headphone. And what they do, this is the more important part though. It's, it's really to protect the musician's ears. Why, what does that mean? It's because the musicians on stage, it is so loud that to pump music out to 10, 20, 100,000 people. The, 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 um, the, the, what's it called? The speakers are so loud that it can really do some serious damage to the musician's ears. So this, that's called stage volume. To combat that, we have in your monitors where, the, where they wear these monitors, and it's just like I can show you mine. They're like their headphones. They put them in your ear, and you, you put them in, and they now you have your own mix. You can hear whatever you want to hear inside of that, inside your in ears. So that being said, you, you can say, "Oh, I want." You ever hear in those? You hear it a lot in rap music, actually. Like, uh, "Turn me up in the mix." He, he's wearing monitors, that's in the studio, it's a similar concept, he's wearing headphones, but it's the same thing during pre-check, like when they're checking their mics, before the concert, they say, oh, I want a little more vocals, oh, turn the guitar down a little. They, they have a, their own mix of what you guys are hearing, but their own personal mix. So the guitarist has a little more guitarist than the piano player, the piano player has a little more piano, the vocalist has a little bit more of his, his voice and a little less of the background, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so you can actually hear yourself because when you're playing live too, it's also very hard to hear your specific self. It, it, you know, if you're a singer, it's a little easier, but if you're a guitar player and you, you're trying to hear exactly what you're doing, you know, it's, it's going to be hard to hear what you're doing. So you have your in-ear monitors for protection and for performance. Uh, what you see though is sometimes when you, like the artists take it out during a specific part, part it's harder to connect with the crowd because, like I said, it's noise canceling. So what they do is they want to take it out. They want to hear the crowd. They want to hear how they're interacting. They want to hear how they're sounding even through the speakers. So sometimes they do that, and that's what an in-ear monitor does. Um, like I said, you, they, they have like really cheap versions. They have really expensive versions. And what it does, what it does, is that they're wireless too, which is really cool. So you could be anywhere on the stage walking around, as opposed to like a floor monitor, which is like just right there on the center. It also reduces noise uh, uh, stage volume because you don't have monitors on the on the stage. It also reduces uh, feedback because what feedback is is what you ever hear like that mic feedback that the high pitched screeching screeching sound that nobody likes. Feedback is a, a loop of of, of um, sound. So you say something to a microphone, it comes, goes into the microphone, comes out the speaker, and then what you just said through the microphone that came out of the speaker gets back into the microphone and creates this loop, and that's what feedback is. So if you don't have that monitor on the floor, that reduces feedback too. So that's an inner monitor. If you've ever wondered, people have always been curious. People actually thought that it was to, to quiet everybody else out there. There's a thousand different theories, but I'm telling you what it actually is. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, you can leave a comment or text me if you have any ideas. 1 973 Appreciate you guys watching this. Have a great rest of the day and peace out. I couldn't do this life without you. I don't know how some people try to. No one's in. Without